Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. This is the Morning Swim Show for Monday, September 24th, 2012. I'm your host, Tiffany Elias. Today in the Phoenice Monitor is a 2012 London finalist and a Canadian record holder. Joining us from the Swamp or Gainesville, Florida is Sinead Russell. Sinead, thanks for joining us. All right, well, first off, congratulations on your performances out in London. Thank you. All right, so you represented Canada in the 100 and 200 backstroke, making that final in the 200 backstroke. Why don't you walk us through your experience out in London? Uh, well, the first day we got there, um, we were looking around the village, and we finally got to the um, dining hall. And so that's the point where it all sunk in that I was actually in London, and I started skipping around the dining hall like a little kid. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And then as um, we got closer to the actual competition, um, I started getting really nervous. Like It was really hard to bring myself to calm down. Sleeping was really hard. But uh, when we got into the meet, it was a lot of fun to be there. Um, the crowd was really, really loud. Yeah, it was really loud. Yeah. So Especially if you were besides someone from England. They were, they were great. Yeah, the crowd was, was very supportive of those Great Britain swimmers and everybody else as well. But you could definitely yeah. feel a difference in the atmosphere when they stepped up to the blocks. Yeah, it was a very big difference. Now, did yeah. that help you or did that make you even more anxious and nervous given you could just feel that adrenaline pumping? Um, the first few races I had, it took a little bit to get used to because there was always a British girl in my heat. And so the, it went from to a normal loud to just like this deafening roar from the crowd. And it was intimidating at first, but as I got towards the end of the meet, it started getting easier to handle. Now, since it really didn't hit you till you got there that you were on the Olympic team, it seems like it all was coming as a shock. And then to make it all the way through into a, a final in the 200 backstroke, now, describe that feeling, because it's one thing to swim in the Olympics, it's another thing to make it all the way to that big A final. Yeah, um, we, were, we were standing in the media zone after my semifinal, uh, uh, waiting to see if I made it in, and it took a few minutes for the results to come on the board, and that, that few minutes was one of the worst minutes of my life, and when I saw that I made it in, it was just like a huge relief. I felt really happy for that. Yeah, very exciting. Now, you actually swam a little bit faster at trials, which is when you set the Canadian record. You were about a second yeah. off in London. What do you attribute that performance difference to? Did you hit your taper better in trials, or did maybe that excitement get to you a little bit? Um, well, in, in trials, it's a different type of pressure it's to make the team. And the pressure that you have at the Olympics, it's, it's still a big pressure. It's probably more, but it's a different type. And it's, I guess it's because it's so different that you just have to go through it a few times before you can actually swim at your best of your ability. Right. Was it pretty, pretty easy overall, though, to adapt to London since there's not too many differences from, from Canada? Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, the food was great. I like the dining hall a lot. Yeah, the dining hall was amazing. It was. All right, so... They did a really good job at that. You also had your brother out there with you, so I, I would assume that that was a huge support system right there. Your brother, Colin, this was his second Olympics, so a veteran on the team. How was that having family out there with you? Um, I feel really lucky that my brother got to go with me. Like, he was a really big help. Uh, he gave me some advice not to get too caught up in the hype of the games. And then at the staging camp leading up to the games, he always like fooled around in practice. Like uh, going into a wall, he'd pull your leg to 
in warm up. He would never do that in a main set, or and I would retali retaliate sometimes just because it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I wait for him to get really close to the wall, and then I'd almost jump on him, <laughs> but not really. And then I'd sort of swim away as best as I could because he would throw me over the line rope after. Well, that's good to keep it lighthearted. Oh, that's what I think a yeah. lot of athletes need to do once you get to that big stage. So transitioning over to where you are now, we can clearly read Gators there on your shirt. You're a freshman out at the University of Florida. And you just perked up there. You seem pretty excited about that. I am very excited. It's, it's definitely a new experience. It's a lot different from what I'm used to, but the training's really good. The coaches are great, and I get along with the team pretty well. So you haven't been out there too long. What was your schedule after London getting over to Gainesville? How do you mean? like? So after you finished, you stayed through the ceremonies. Then did you stay in the water since you had the college season coming up, or were you able to take a break? Um, I took a little break. I mean, I ran three to four times a week to make sure my endurance was still up there when I got in the water. I didn't want to be too out of shape. But I definitely got a break from what I, the, what I usually do. Yeah, out of shape would be a little rough heading into Coach Troy's practices. Yeah, they're pretty good so far. So how does UF start off the season since you've been out there? What is What has training been like for your first month since you've been on campus? Uh, there's a lot of endurance and cardio training so far. And, um, a lot of stroke work for now, but we're starting to get into the harder work and starting to train pretty good now. Well, that doesn't sound too shocking. So what made you choose UF over every other school here in the United States? Main issues? Why did you choose to go to, to University of Florida? Oh, um, I could relate to the program. It, um, it's close to what I'm used to back home, and having that, it's a comfort knowing that I'm doing something similar. So now that you've only been out there for a couple weeks, uh, are you missing Canada at all at this point, or do you do you have intentions to go home for the holidays or anything like that? I'm missing fall weather. I mean, the, the the leaves are nice during the fall in Canada. All right. Anything you're you're really looking forward to this season, oh, swimming sorry. collegiately versus now oh, right. for your country? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, what, what most are you looking forward to going into this college season? Um, everything. There's not one thing I can say that I'm not looking forward to. Great. Well, we're definitely excited to see you out at NCAAs later this season. So thanks for coming on the show, and good luck this year. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Sinead. Bye. That wraps up today's morning swim show. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with all the latest news. I'm your host, Tiffany Elias. Thanks for watching.